Hi, my name is Veronica Ramsey, and I will be explaining how to write in a first grade journal using uh, storm strategies. This would be a journal entry for the beginning of the first grade year. The first thing you want to do is think about the prompt and try to remember a personal event to answer the prompt. For this example, we will be writing about a time we had fun at recess. So think really hard about all the times you play at recess, what is something that you did that was really, really fun. Okay, so now that we thought about that, we are going to um, start writing on our actual journal paper. Step one is to write your name and the date. When you do this, you want to make sure you're using your best handwriting. You want to include your first name and your last name. And you want to be, make sure you have the date at the top. Step two will be to draw a picture of the event you thought of. So in this case, I thought of a time I had fun at recess was when I was jumping with the jump rope. So I'm going to draw a quick sketch. It doesn't have to be um, extremely detailed. The purpose of the sketch is to help me remember what I'm going to write about. Step three. Now we're going to count the words in our sentence. So I'm going to say my sentence out loud and then count on my fingers how many words it is. My sentence is, I jumped during recess. That is one, two, three, four words. Remember that. Now I'm ready for step four, which is to draw brown lines for each word. After I draw my brown lines, I want to make sure I have a period at the end. So I draw four brown lines because I have four words in my sentences, or my one sentence. Also, don't forget to include spaces between your brown lines. You want to put a, your finger after the line and have a nice space in between for each word. Okay, so now we're on step five. Um, we're ready to write our words on the brown lines. So for the first brown line, my first word is I. Um, I starts with the... It, I is the beginning of our sentence, so we want to make sure it has, it is capitalized. Um, for my second word, the word is jumped. If I am in first grade and I'm not sure how to spell jumped, I can stretch out the word and write the sounds that I hear. So let's go ahead and do that together. J. That's the letter J. A. Uh, U. M. M. P. P D. D. Now, jumped actually ends with ed, but when I was stretching it out, I didn't hear that sound, um, and since I wasn't sure how to spell it, I'm just going to write the sounds that I hear, and that's okay for a journal entry. Journal entries do not have to be perfect. This is work that you're doing independently, so you don't have to ask the teacher how do you spell each word. You want to practice spelling it out phonetically. That means writing the sounds that you hear. I'm going to do the same thing for my next two words, during and recess. Now, on this journal entry that you have in front of you, um, on this slide, during and recess are not spelled correctly, but that's okay because I stretched it out. Okay, so now we're finally at the end, step six. And all we have to do is check our work, um, you want to ask yourself the following questions. Does my sentence have a capital in the beginning? Does it end with a period? Did I um, use proper letter formation and spaces? Did I stretch out my words? And does my sentence make sense? Once I've checked all those things, I am now finished with my journal. And I can uh, put it away and listen for my teacher's next instructions.